Catherine here. Today I'm going to show you how to sketch parabola using CAS calculator. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to sketch parabola on TI Inspire CAS calculator. Let's start with adding a graph page. Next to F1x, let's type x squared plus 3x minus 10, then click on to enter and it will sketch the parabola for you. And as you can see that you can't really see the turning point or the y intercept. So let's change our window setting. Move your mouse to y minimum value, click the value twice, then type 15, enter. And you'll change the y minimum value to negative 15. And now let's find our turning point. As you can see, your turning point is on the very bottom of the parabola, which means that it's minimum. So go to menu, six, click minimum and it will tell you to put down the law bound so use your mouse pad to move left and right all you have to do is just put the law bound on the left side of the turning point anyway is fine once you decide the place click and then they'll tell you to put down the upper bound so this one can be anywhere on the right side of the turning point click onto the right side of the turning point and it will give you the turning point between those two boundary. Next one, let's find our Y intercept. Go to menu, trace, and click on the graph trace. It will automatically go to the point where X is zero, where Y intercept is. But when you click trace, if it does not go to the Y intercept straight away, all you have to do is just type zero, and you'll see X equals zero on the very bottom, and just type enter, and we'll move to the point where X is zero. And now let's find our two X intercepts. Go to menu, six, click onto zero. And it'll tell you to put the law bound for your X intercept. So you have to do it one by one. Let's look at our left X intercept. Put down the law bound on the left side of your X intercept and put down your upper bound on the right side of the X intercept. And it'll give you the X intercept between those two boundary, which is negative five. And do the same thing for the right x-intercept. Go to menu, analyze, and then zero. Put down your lower bound and upper bound, and it'll give you the x-intercept between those two boundary, which is two. And now let's try to find the y value when x is one. And all you have to do is go to menu, trace, graph trace, then simply type one and enter, and it'll move to the point when x is 1. So our y value when x is 1 is negative 6. Let's try another one. Let's try to find the y value when x is 5. Again, just simply type 5, enter, and it'll move to the point when x is 5. So the y value is 30. And now let's try to find the x value when y equals 0. We can't find this using trace button, so all we have to do is add another equation which is y equals 10. So click on the tab and just type 10 next to f2x. And it'll draw the horizontal line for you, but as you can see, we can't see it yet. So let's try changing the window setting. Let's change our y minimum to zero. And now you can see the red line. And all we have to do to find the x value when x, y is 10, find the intersection between those two graphs. Go to menu, Analyze graph, then click onto intersection, and it'll tell you to put down the lower bound and upper bound again. Again, start with the left intersection, put down the lower bound on the left side of the point, and put down upper bound on the right side of the point, and it'll find the intersection for you. And also do the same thing for your right intersection. You'll get you'll get negative six point two two for your left intersection, and three point two two for your right intersection. Thank you so much for watching our quadratic videos today. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel for more math tips and materials. Study smarter, not harder with SAC.